Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to conduct a one-way or single-factor analysis of variance in Excel. The purpose of a one-way ANOVA is to test the null hypothesis that the group means are all equal. So if you have, for instance, three different groups, group A, group B, and group C, the null hypothesis is that the means for each group are all equal. The alternative hypothesis is that at least one of the means for each of the groups is different. And what we will use to conduct our one-way ANOVA is liquid laundry detergent data. This data set has different purchase occasions, households, uh, different weeks, loyalty, different prices of the detergents. And so what we're going to mainly be focusing on is the price of the detergent, and we will be focused on this purchase set. And the purchase set represents the different brands. So one equals Tide, two equals Whisk, three equals Era, and four equals Surf. So what I've already done here on this spreadsheet is I have transformed the data where I've taken the set column and the price column, and I uh, organized this by set from least to greatest. So what that allows us to do is that allows us to select the prices for Tide, the prices for Whisk, the prices for Era, and the prices for Surf during different purchase occasions. So I've already done that here, and we have the prices for all the different purchase occasions for Tide, for Whisk, Era, and Surf. So I'm going to go to a new sheet, and this new sheet will just look at what our um, columns will be for the analysis of variance. I have included our original columns of set and price. That way uh, you're aware that we did transform that data here. So to conduct a one-way ANOVA in Excel, you would need to have the data analysis tool pack installed in Excel first. So if you haven't already done that, I have two videos that will guide you through the process of installing the data analysis tool pack in Excel. So we'll select data analysis here on the data tab and we will select ANOVA single factor and click OK. From here, we will want to select our columns. I've already done this, but it's pretty easy if we want to do this in Excel. You just select the columns and you go from left to right. Our data is grouped by columns because we have the four different groups, the four different laundry detergents, and we do have our labels in the first row. Our alpha value is 0.05, that's our typical cutoff value, and we will select the new worksheet. You would then click OK, and we then have our output from the analysis of variance. From here, we can see we have our summary, which gives us a count of each of the different purchase occasions where the price was taken. And so here we have the price of Tide, the average, the sum, and the variance. And we have that for each of the groups that we're looking at. Now, whenever we're actually getting to the analysis of variance, we have the between groups and the within groups. Our main focus is going to be the, be the between groups. Specifically, we want to look at the p-value here. If the p-value is non-significant, which would be greater than 0.05, then we would accept the null hypothesis, that is that the group means are equal. If the p-value is less than 0.05, which it is here, we would reject the null hypothesis in favor of the alternative hypothesis, which is at least one of the means is different. So this is the analysis of variance. We do not know which of the means is different between these groups. We just know that there is at least one of these means is different between the groups. So we would need to conduct additional tests to be able to determine which of the differences exist between the groups specifically. So that's all for this video, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.